scientist who helped invent technology used in Wi-Fi networks has won the Prime Minister's Prize for Science. John O'Sullivan received the award in Canberra last night and he joins us from there now. John, good morning. Uh, good morning, Shannon. Can you take us back to 1992? Firstly, where and why did you begin working on what's uh, turned out to be quite a revolution in computing? Well, actually, it started quite a bit before 1992. It actually started working out on uh, some difficult radio astronomy problems, uh, something that uh, Stephen Hawking suggested back in 1974. And we set out to see if we could detect exploding uh, mini black holes. And the technology uh, thought uh, about using for that and developed later ultimately proved to be uh, one of the important keys to the uh, puzzle of doing uh, high data rate uh, wireless uh, communications. So what was the connection between the two? Well, uh, short radio pulses from exploding black holes get smeared on their way through uh, interstellar space to our uh, receiver. Um, and the uh, Wi-Fi uh, wireless networks, um, signal transmitted from a computer or your uh, uh, a router in the home uh, bounces around the walls, uh, bounces off people and gets smeared in similar ways. Now I'm not even going to pretend to uh, understand the science of all of that, John, <laughs> but clearly those uh, scientists who were looking to, to speed up uh, their internet connections on their computers, they couldn't, they couldn't crack this puzzle, so it was really by accident that you managed to. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah, maybe you could say it's an accident. Uh, yeah, we certainly, when we started out looking for black holes, we didn't see where this was going to end up. When we started to look at um, uh, wireless networks, um, you know, the, the fact that we uh, uh, worked on the radio astronomy problem meant we had a head start. And we could see that uh, uh, maybe some of the things that others would have thought were too difficult, uh, we could see, yeah, well, that will be possible in a couple of years. Moore's Law, the uh, doubling of computer power every 18 months will come to our help. It's brilliant. Mm. You're now working on, a, uh, on designing a new telescope. Uh, tell us about that. What do you hope it will be able to see, John? The, uh, yes, I've been attracted back to, to CSIRO to work on the uh, Square Kilometre Array. Um, our part of it is the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder project uh, to go um, in Western Australia. And uh, you know, ultimately the Square Kilometre Array will be far more sensitive than anything that's ever gone before. We'll be able to see larger swathes of sky. So you know, all that means we'll be able to see you know, further back to the beginnings of the universe and uh, hopefully unravel some of the big puzzles that have arisen in the last decade. So as an astrologer, what, um, what are the main big space discoveries that you'd expect or, or hope that we will see in our lifetime? Um, well, I guess I'm a physicist and an engineer uh, and uh, I, I have a, a sort of a burning interest in uh, where did we all come from? Uh, the sort of puzzles that uh, I think have been uh, thrown up in recent years are the uh, realisation that the universe is expanding and that things like dark energy um, uh, are large, uh, you know, one of the major constituents of the universe and uh, we have no idea what it is yet. So can you explain how it is possible to look back so many millions and billions of years? Uh, the, um, the, the way I see it is that the light waves take uh, a long, long while to, to reach us. And if you can uh, see very, very faint uh, light or radio waves, then you're looking at uh, uh, radio waves or light waves that started off that long ago. And uh, you know, uh, it's a, I guess it's a complex business like many things, but uh, uh, you the astronomers have been able to uh, piece together an enormous amount about our universe from, uh, from what we can see from Earth. Fascinating work. We pay tribute to you. Congratulations again. Thanks, Thanks for joining yeah. us. Thank, thank you very much.